The number phi, otherwise known as the golden ratio, is an interesting number to study since it shows up in different places in nature, and many different artists and architects use it in their work. And as a decimal, phi is equal to 1.61803, and this goes on forever since phi is an irrational number. And the first place that it's really discussed is in Euclid's Elements, which remember this is written around 300 BCE. And in Book 4 of the Elements, Euclid states that a straight line is said to have been cut in extreme and mean ratio when, as the whole line is to the greater segment, so is the greater to the less. So this might seem cryptic, but it's actually not too difficult to understand. So if we take a line and we cut it so that this length is 1, then this length would be 5. And the entire length of this line is simply 1 plus 5. So here, this statement that as the whole line is to the greater segment is just talking about the ratio of the length of the whole line compared to the greater part, or this phi here. So we have 1 plus phi divided by phi, and this is the greater to the less. Or in other words, it's just talking about the ratio of the bigger part of this cut line to the smaller part. So this is equal to phi divided by 1. And now that we have an equation, we can solve for phi. So multiplying both sides of this by phi, we have that 1 plus phi is equal to phi squared. And since we have a quadratic equation, we can just set one side of the equation equal to 0 and then use the quadratic formula. So phi squared minus phi minus 1 is equal to 0. And using the quadratic equation, we have that phi is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1 minus 4 times negative 1 times 1, all divided by 2. And simplifying this radical, we have 1 minus a negative, so that's plus. So phi is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. And if you take the positive case of this and plug it into a calculator, you will see that this does indeed equal 1.61803 and so on.